Will you commit to releasing this unclassified document that alleges that the President of the United States, the President of the United States, has taken $5 million or more in bribes from a foreign nation? The document has already been released pursuant to a subpoena to the House Oversight Committee. Has it, it been will, released to we, this committee? We'll work with this committee within the parameters that are established to meet Will the you request. release the document to the public? It's unclassified. Don't you think the American people have a right to see it? Senator Josh Hawley never could get a simple yes or no answer out of FBI Deputy Director Paul Abate. Abate mumbled something about taking the matter back to his FBI team and considering the request. Now, what's crazy is just a few minutes earlier in the hearing, that same FBI official was still stonewalling Senator Ted Cruz about whether or not the agency even had the explosive FD-1023 form containing those allegations of the Biden bribery scheme. You'll be hearing a lot of references to FD-1023 in the coming weeks and months. And in case you're wondering what that is, the FBI defined a 1023 form as, quote, one of many forms the FBI uses to collect and catalog information for its law enforcement and national security work. Now, watch as Cruz unloads on Abate. He lays out exactly why the FBI is damaging the rule of law. Deputy Director Abadi, is it true that the FBI has a report making those allegations? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, Senator. And why is that? I'm just not going to comment on uh, information we've received, investigations. Or Do you owe an matters. obligation to the American people to be candid about evidence of corruption by the President of the United States? This is uh, an area that I'm not going to get into with you, Senator. Well, I understand you don't want to, and that's why people are mad at the FBI, because you're stonewalling and covering up serious allegations of evidence of corruption from the president. Yesterday, Senator Chuck Grassley stood on the Senate floor and alleged that there are 17 recordings of this informant from Burisma, Ukrainian natural gas company, 15 of them are recordings, voice recordings of him talking to Hunter Biden. Two of them are voice recordings of him talking to Joe Biden. Deputy Director Abate, does the FBI have 17 voice recordings laying out evidence of a bribery scheme? Senator, I'd add all, I would add also that uh, we've worked with the House Oversight Committee. Yeah, this is the Senate. The We're the other side of the Capitol. This is the Senate. Do you have those 17 recordings? I'm not going to comment on any investigative matters, Senator. See, that's the problem. The FBI, and I've had this conversation with Chris Ray too, this is why you are damaging the institution. The American people have a right to know whether there is serious, credible evidence that the President of the United States took a $5 million bribe. And by to quickly recap the news of the week, Senator Chuck Grassley announced he had read the entire FD-1023 form, and it reveals the FBI may have a total of 17 audio recordings, 15 with Hunter Biden and two with then-Vice President Joe Biden, talking with an executive from Burisma. That's the Ukrainian natural gas company at the center of this alleged bribery scheme. Republican senators want the full release of the FBI evidence against the Biden family. Evidence they've sat on, or the FBI has sat on, for some time now. But as you'll see in this next exchange between Senator Cruz and the FBI's Paul Abate, the FBI wants to avoid any accountability, not to our elected officials on the Senate Oversight Committee, and not to us, the American taxpayers, the ones paying his salary. The FBI has right now an unlimited hubris that you believe you are unaccountable. You don't believe you're accountable to the United States Congress, and you don't believe you're accountable to the American people. And you are doing damage. You're sitting there happily erecting a wall to protect Joe Biden. And finally, Cruz calls out the Democrats on the committee and what he calls the corporate media, who are all in cahoots to protect the Biden family. You're not answering a single question to the American people. And you may think this is esoteric. I promise you, millions of Americans are concerned. You know who isn't concerned? Not a single Senate Democrat. We're going to go through this whole hearing. Not one Democrat will ask a question about this. You know who else isn't concerned? The corporate media who is joining with the Democrats in covering up this evidence. Now, this entire scandal is outrageous, and the fact that we can't get answers is ridiculous. No, it's unacceptable. Do you know how we could get to the truth of all this? Because let's be clear, 
At this point, these are allegations only. Joe Biden could call on the FBI to release all the evidence. Just put it out there and let the American people hear for themselves what the case is. And if you remember, that is exactly what former President Donald Trump did when a phony whistleblower in the White House alleged Trump made some quid pro quo deal with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky four years ago. Trump released the transcript of the call. What are your thoughts on all this? Please let me know in the comments below. Like and share this video with your friends and follow Americans for Limited Government on YouTube and Rumble.